Hi everybody, I'm Brianna Russell and uh, this should be my second uh, video for my YouTube channel. So today before I get started, um, I just want to say I know this isn't really like anything crazy for y'all, but last night um, I won my first buckle. Um, after three years of barrel racing, this is something I wanted and most people are like, oh, it's just a buckle. But to me, this is like my goal I set when I first started. So this is something um, I love and I'm gonna try and show it to y'all. It says Lone Star Arena 2019 Champion Barrel Racer. So I was kind of scared to <laughs> like when I went in because yesterday as of yesterday I was tied six different ways or I did three <laughs> six different ways for um, first so I was really like I have to win this if not I ain't gonna be able to do nothing so um, I ended up winning it and I'm super proud of myself and I'm super proud of them but today we're gonna introduce y'all to well i say words just me and my cat's playing with me this is my kitty my barn cat um today we're going to introduce y'all to the horses i have in the barn and maybe get to the horses that are in the pasture so this is my 12 year old um, a pink mix spread. <laughs> I see you too. So, um, his name is Straight Ever Clear. He is 17 years old and he, is, he loves treats. That's what this is for. I carry all my treats in the same. Uh, he is my primary barrel horse. Uh, I have had him for about a month and a half or so, maybe, maybe two months, probably not that. Um, he's a super sweet boy, and he loves to be loved on. He's a big old boy. So, he has no white spots, except on his face. He has a star right here, and then he has his brand on his shoulder. He's probably not gonna turn that way, because he's looking at everyone else. Right. So this is Everclear. That's what he goes by for the his full name. And he's such like a big no way. He is such like a big no, you can't have any more. This is my much shorter um, secondary barrel horse, and she wants treats as well. Her registered name is 7S Prom Night. She came from the, uh, what's that right? The Stewart Ranch. And yeah, my horse is just love treats. Um, she is six or seven years old, I don't remember. Um, she, her papers go back to play gun, no gun, on bottom, and she has had two babies. Hey, you know. She has, she was a dark, uh, I would say dark bay before she changed, and she didn't change until she was almost two and a half years old to a gray. So she had white, she had white on her feet and she has, you can see the little bit still on her nose. She had a white nose all the way from here and all the way down. Um, and she's just being needy. She's being so needy. Monday to get branded with my personal brand. You can't you can't really see 
I guess you can maybe a little bit in the camera. She has an S from her original ranch. And most people are like, oh, don't brand a gray. It doesn't ever stay. But it's the fact that she's going to probably stay here for the rest of her life and become a broodmare later on down the road um, is the reason we brand her. And you can see them a little bit, but it's all to your own preference. You do what you want. But this is 7S Pond Night. She goes by the name Wisdom. Or sometimes Mama. We refer to her as both. But she's a super sweet girl. Super loving. Okay, she's not, not going to be loving right then. But she just wants treats. That's all she wants. Can you just... Okay, come closer to the camera. This is me. Okay. Super sweet, so lovable. Even for a young horse, she is like, she's grown, I guess, maybe because she's had two colts. Um, she matured very quickly for her age, except for right now, she's being a little poo Um But most people don't expect her to be so young and for her to act so mature and adult-like and <laughs> she was very curious though. Hey, be nice. Be nice. Is that ever forget you? <laughs> They're all a little sassy in the barn if you can't tell. <laughs> so this is um, Boogie, registered name PC Gun and Oak. She came from the Cowan Ranch in North or South Dakota. I don't remember. Okay, that's just a bad She's only about 14 hands. She's part of the shorter horses. We like the short horses except for this tall guy over there. And she is about the same age as Everclear. She's 12. No, I don't. No, we'll, we'll get treats. The horses look so you can't tell. Um, she, I got her up a little over a year ago. And she is super nosy, super sassy. Um, she has no white besides on her face. It's, she has this tiny little mark that it's hard to see. And then she has it running down her nose. And she is not flopping. She just wants to see everything else in the barn because she acts like she never gets out. Um, as you can tell, she's super short because I can see straight over her. On the ground. She's super lovable. She's been all over. We got her from Iowa. Um, she's lived in Texas. She was born in hey. She was born in North or South Dakota. I think it's North Dakota, if I'm not mistaken. But who knows? Um, she's a beautiful little horse. She is. And hopefully she can make somebody else happy one day. Right. Yeah. So, this is Remy, short for Remington. She's actually a gray mare. And she is probably 14, two or three. She's gonna be a little talkative right now. Super sweet. This is one of my kids' horses. Look at that Super lovable, super curious, and she's so beautiful. She smells the treats. You like a treat. They get so. There you go. There you go. Good girl. She has this tiny little white spot right on her head. That's it. Now she's gonna do her little funny thing when she eats. She's very weird. She likes when she eats. She sticks up one leg like a pony though. Yes. She smacks and lick, licks her lips like a little kid. I think she has a little kid personality. It's from all the little kids she's been hanging around. Hi, <laughs> right, girl. Hi, right, girl. You can tell them? Tell them. Tell them what it's about. Mm -hmm. 
So her hair is actually super short. I know y'all can't see it's on the other side, but she had a beautiful, long, pretty mane. And then she decided she's gonna rub half of it out. So we decided we're gonna cut it all off and she can grow back. So she had a super, hey, she has a super pretty mane when it's long. <laughs> right now it's the awkward of this day. Hopefully she can make somebody happy one day too. This is the horse that that can go and do anything and has done everything, even at the age of only 10 or 11. That's what the horse dinner says. Super young, super willing, such a beautiful horse. Yeah, such a She has no brand on her and not really much information about where she came from. So we only know as much as we can of it. So this is Kill Doggo. He's a great gelfin. We would say he's about 15 years old. He's stubborn, he's rotten. Um, he's probably 15 hands, maybe. Um, he's, <coughs> he also loves to, can't tell. Um, he was used to, um, before we got him, we got him from a family member. He was used to haul up to um, North Dakota and work cattle in the freezing cold. Yeah, so he has just been living his life as a horse and sorta has been doing some riding, not much, but he's, like I said, he's super stubborn and sometimes just, I don't want to, might get in trouble, like get myself in trouble and stuff I can't get out of. So really we just do a lot of groundwork and teaching him things. He's like, he has the personality of like the oldest man alive. He's just super slow about everything and then like is grumpy also at the same time. His name is also short. He, it was, it just wouldn't grow past a certain length and was super dry and so I decided to cut them off and it cut, it's actually come back pretty quick. It's super soft and super shiny. And he has, his hair just grows back super fast. Um, he's an Obero, or however you say it, that's how I say it. Sorrel um, paint. He kind of has a roan look to him. So he might be a roan. We haven't decided yet <laughs> what he is. He was pride cut. He has had a colt before, and which stinks. I wish he had papers, because he's a beautiful horse, and I just wish I knew what, you know, lineage and genetics that he had. He had he's, hey, those are my glasses. Um, super fat, and I know this doesn't do any, the light and stuff doesn't do any justice, but. Um, he has to stay in the barn because he gets super sunburnt real bad and he blisters really easily. So we try to keep him out of the sun as much as possible or keep him protected as much as possible. And I can't use a fly mask that has the nose on him because he tears them off and then we can't find them and then they get shredded over by the factory. So it stinks. He kind of has to stay in the barn. Sometimes we'll put him out in a turnout pen and for the day and he can hang out there, but then he has to come back in the barn and we have to make sure we put sunscreen on him, just like a little baby. He's like a little baby to me. He loves to get head fetchies, and he likes to be a little pushover sometimes. But seems about like he's done having it. He says, bye you guys, I'm done. I'm gonna go back to my stall. So, um, I do have a few horses out in the pasture, and some people are like, oh, why are some of the pasture somewhere in the barn? Um, I try to keep my barrel horses in the barn just because I'm constantly working with them and it just makes it easier to be able to pull them out of the barn. And um, Remy and Boogie, they need to be put back out in the pasture. Um, we had them in the barn because people we're coming to look at them. Oh, and there's a giant dead snake. Um, 
it looks like a copperhead. Only good snake's a dead snake. <laughs> um, so, oh, where's the clip for this thing? So like I was saying, um, I need to get them back out in the pasture, but I just haven't. So I've been trying to work on them. Sorry, I'm not like paying attention to the camera. Um, but my horses that are stay out in the pasture and they really don't leave the pasture are my two broodmares and my yearling. This thing is just out in the middle of nowhere and scary as crap. Um, <coughs> so we're gonna go out there and see them right now. We'll see. Sometimes they're like grumpy in the mornings and they like really don't want anyone messing with them. But, sorry, I'm like smacking my gum like a crazy person, but we're going to see if we can get up to them and I will talk a little bit about them and tell you the registered names and who they are bred by, the two broodmares. And then I will talk about the baby a little. Where's the baby at? Is he in a little huddle? Oh, they're so cute. They liked it. They have this these two trees that have like shade all day long that they like to stay under. I should probably put my sunglasses on, but nah. So we're gonna walk up to them, talk a little bit about them. <coughs> what are you girls doing? I'm a baby talker. Like I like to talk like super babyish to my horses. That's just how I am. So we have this super shy one. This is Kit. This is what's our Kit Kat. Um, her registered name is Dashing Sweet Chick. She is um, 17 years old. She is bred to Flaming Firewater um, for a 2020 full. <laughs> and here's, this is Governor. This is his barn name. Um, his register name is 4R Knight of Cash, and the 4R comes from our little ranch. <laughs> he is a baby of the gray horse in the barn. <laughs> he's super short for as old as he is, but he's super fat. He has a big old belly. So he's been gelded. I'm gonna walk over to my other horse. So this is the one that I talked about that had kissing spine. Oh, hi, girl. Her name is Hope, and <laughs> She is bred to, um, Fiesta's Got a Gun for a 2020 full. Yes. She actually had twins. We had to terminate one of them, which is sad, I know, but she's so short. Like, you know, she can't carry. She wouldn't have been able to carry it anyways. So she also has a brand. I didn't show that on the other horse, but she has a brand. You can sort of see it on her. You can see where it's coming out at. Um, <laughs> do you want some treats, girl? Do you want some treats? I gave you some treats. So they just stay out the pasture. They get to they get to just be horses. That's just who they are. So she has her brand. I don't know if you can see it. I, I mean, I can see it in person, but on the camera, <laughs> he is just he actually is being good today. Sometimes he's not so good. Sometimes he's a little turd. He is a little turd. So his. Daddy's name is Eddie's Cash or something like that. I'm not real for sure. Uh, Black Stallion. And he is just a little bay. That's all he's going to be. He has four white feet, socks. I'm not for sure the term. I don't know if I did. And then has full white face. So his mom gave him all that white. His dad doesn't have any. Super pretty horse. Yes. So. He has um, new cash cow and play gun, so super good horse, and the flies are all over me. Um, we're going to see what he can be one day. We're going to start um, working with him later in the summer when he gets a little older and start him on directions and learning directions and stuff like that um, so we can get him ready for when he is to be broke because I'm such a good boy. Because him such a good boy. They usually have fly masks on, but I went to when I went to the vet Monday, I took them off and turned them out and forgot to put them back on. 
So those are all my horses in and out of the barn. And even you got a plus to see my cat. Um, they're really all, they all have different purposes. Obviously I've told y'all about them and <laughs> governor wants to come with me. I'm sorry, buddy. He thinks he want to come, comes with me, but he doesn't. He just, he'd rather be out the pasture. I promise you. Um, but you know, my horses, they all have different purposes and people will, are like, well, if you're a barrel racer, you know, why don't you just have barrel horses? Well, I've gotten a lot of them, not all for me. Um, some horses have been for my mother that don't need to be barrel horses and some have just been given to us and some have, we have bought for broodmares. Um, all different purposes that we all, I mean, I'm, I mean, the people that have just one purpose, barrel horses, or they're all the same purpose, have a reason, and that's their kind. That's kind of their job. I don't really have a job for that, and I kind of just try and stick to what's best for them and what works for me. Um, of course, it's all depending on the horse and what they do and how we work with them. Obviously, Hope that has kissing spine. Oh goodness. I might have found one of my cats. Come here, kitty, kitty, kitty. So I lost a cat yesterday, and I think I just found her. <gasps> Come here, girl. <gasps> oh, I think I found her. <gasps> Come here, Cosmo. Oh, I'm so where have you been, girl? Oh, sweet girl. So this is Cosmo. <laughs> her sister was the one up in the barn. Um, we could not find her. We think we thought she had gotten in one of the vehicles and, um, we didn't know what had happened. So we thought maybe she got left at the gas station. Um, so I couldn't find her. It was pretty late when I got back home last night. So I didn't have much time to look for her, but here she is. I think she was actually, we have cattle guards up there and over there. And she, I think she was in the cattle guards. <laughs> she's still purring like nothing ever happened she's so silly um but i think that's all for today guys thank you guys for watching i know this is kind of a close-up and shouldn't be my outro but thank you guys for watching and subscribe to my youtube channel